Prince William in shock as King Charles faces dangerous ritual in Samoa. Imagine the soft, warm breeze of a Samoan evening. The rhythm of traditional drums fills the air. A crowd gathers to witness a rare, culturally rich ritual. But as King Charles raises a traditional kava bowl to his lips, a hush falls over the crowd. His family and onlookers hold their breath. Is this a simple sip of tradition, or something much more dangerous? The news has shaken the monarchy and left Prince William reeling. The island's kava ritual, with its roots in ancient customs and myths, has caused concern and confusion, even back home in the UK. Questions linger. What really happened? And just how risky was King Charles' brush with this potent ceremonial drink? A royal visit like no other. When the British royal family steps into foreign lands, it's not just another state visit. It's a blending of worlds. But Charles' recent trip to Samoa took an unexpected turn that has both royal watchers and the British public on edge. Kava, a traditional ceremonial drink in many Pacific islands, is revered for its spiritual significance. But it's also known for its potent, often numbing effects. Drinking it isn't as straightforward as one might think. What exactly is kava? A dive into the mystical drink of the Pacific. Kava is no ordinary beverage. Made from the root of the kava plant, it's used in rituals across Oceania to honor leaders, welcome guests, and create spiritual connections. The effects are unique, to say the least, mild euphoria mixed with relaxation, and sometimes, if the kava is strong enough, a tingling numbness across the lips and tongue. But here's where it gets tricky. Kava's strength varies greatly, and its effects are not the same for everyone. So, what happens when a 75-year-old British king sips a drink that he's completely unaccustomed to? We'll break it down and find out why kava poses some serious risks for someone like Charles. The surprising reason kava isn't for the faint-hearted. Ever had a drink that numbed your mouth? That's the kava effect, except it's not just your mouth it impacts. In fact, this powerful beverage has stirred up controversies globally for its side effects, from dizziness to liver complications. Imagine then, King Charles's reaction as he bravely participates in this custom, only to realize this might not be the ideal drink for a monarch accustomed to Earl Grey and still water. Back in England, Prince William was blindsided by the unexpected call. When he heard that his father had drunk kava, he was reportedly taken aback, a mix of concern and, maybe, some disbelief. After all, this isn't exactly your typical royal tea party. But there's a deeper layer here. For William, his father's brush with the unfamiliar and potentially hazardous side of Samoan customs brings up a question that's been haunting the younger generation of royals. Is it worth it? With each royal duty comes risk, and for William, the stakes are personal. He's faced with the reality that royal engagements can come with unanticipated dangers, from physical risks to the emotional toll on the family left behind. What really happened? Untangling fact from fiction. In an age of sensational headlines and viral stories, the truth often gets muddled. Was King Charles really in harm's way, or was this simply a misunderstanding blown out of proportion? Here, we'll uncover the facts surrounding this bizarre encounter and reveal just how this story developed from a simple drink into a global headline that made even the palace take notice. King Charles's participation in the Carver ritual begs a larger question. As royals step into roles as cultural ambassadors, just how far should they go to honor traditions that might be foreign or even dangerous? The story raises an ongoing debate about where the line should be drawn between respect and self-preservation for royals who are both symbols and humans. A lesson in resilience and a call for reflection. King Charles's Carver experience was nerve-wracking, but it shows his resilience and dedication. It makes us think about our traditions, boundaries, and the lengths we go to connect and understand each other. Prince William in shock as King Charles faces dangerous ritual in Samoa. The evening in Samoa was warm, with traditional drums playing. A crowd gathered to see a rare ritual. King Charles raised a kava bowl to his lips, and everyone held their breath. Was it just a sip of tradition, or something dangerous? The news shocked the monarchy and left Prince William stunned. The kava ritual, rooted in ancient customs, caused concern in the UK. Questions lingered, what happened? How risky was King Charles' kava experience? A royal visit like no other. British royal family visits are more than state visits. They blend worlds. Royal protocol is strict, but each place has its own rules. Charles' trip to Samoa took an unexpected turn, leaving everyone on edge. The monarchy represents continuity and tradition. Yet, Charles' kava experience made even loyal supporters nervous. Could kava really be a threat? Why would King Charles risk it? What exactly is kava? A dive into the mystical drink of the Pacific. Kava is not an ordinary drink. 
It's made from the kava plant's root and used in rituals to honor leaders and welcome guests. It causes mild euphoria and relaxation, sometimes with a tingling numbness. Kava's strength varies, and its effects differ for everyone. For Pacific Islanders, it's familiar. For others, it's a surprise. A strong brew can feel like mild anesthesia. So, what happens when a 75-year-old British king tries kava for the first time? We'll explore why kava poses risks for Charles, medically and socially. Kava is more than a drink, it's a sacred ritual. It's about bonding, welcoming, and healing in Pacific nations. When King Charles participated, he entered a world where every sip has meaning. But kava also has a dark side. It can cause hallucinations, dizziness, and liver problems. It's been banned in some countries. Suddenly, it's not just a diplomatic gesture, it's a mysterious tradition with cultural and physical effects. The surprising reason kava isn't for the faint-hearted. Kava numbs your mouth, but it affects more than that. It has caused controversies worldwide for its side effects. Imagine King Charles's reaction as he participates in this custom, realizing it might not be the best drink for him. Kava's potency can be dangerous, even for those familiar with it. For outsiders, it can be overwhelming. It can cause drowsiness, numbness, or hallucinations. King Charles, at 75, has faced many royal duties. But Kava is different. The risks, though small, add tension to this moment. Prince William was surprised when he heard about his father's Kava. It's not a typical royalty. It's about the mix of duty and personal risk. William wonders if it's worth the risks. Each royal duty comes with dangers. He faces the reality of unanticipated risks and emotional tolls. William has seen loved ones face uncomfortable situations for diplomacy. He knows safety and duty are often at odds. But it's his family that deals with the aftermath. What really happened? Untangling fact from fiction. In today's world, truth often gets lost. Was King Charles really in danger, or was it a misunderstanding? We'll explore the facts behind this story. The palace was surprised by the news. Kava isn't the first strange drink a royal has tried, but it's the most misunderstood. News outlets made it seem like Charles was in danger, but local reports say the kava was prepared safely for him. King Charles's involvement raises questions. How far should royals go to honor traditions? It's a balance between respect and risk. This story sparks a debate about respect and self-preservation. Charles has always pushed for a more inclusive monarchy. His willingness to try kava shows his commitment to this. Royal visits are like diplomatic chess games. Each move is carefully made. For Charles, trying kava was a statement of respect. King Charles's experience with kava shows the lengths royals go to respect traditions. It's a lesson in resilience and cultural exchange. Such gestures show the monarchy's respect for other nations. His experience with kava also highlights the importance of cultural sensitivity. It's a reminder of the need for safety in our interconnected world. The art of balancing tradition and modernity. The modern monarchy is evolving. Royals today face a complex world. They balance tradition with the demands of a global, diverse world. This incident shows the delicate dance they perform. For King Charles, this encounter is more than just another public event. It shows his openness to learning and experiencing other cultures, despite the risks. But where do we draw the line? Should royals try every local tradition, even if it's risky? Or is it important to set boundaries for their safety? Royal protocol meets cultural curiosity. Royals have always faced customs and rituals they don't know. From the Queen's time in Africa to Prince Harry's in Nepal, they've shown respect and curiosity. But Charles's experience in Samoa was unique because of the health risk it posed. The rules around royal behavior have changed over time. Today, royals like Charles show a real interest in other cultures. But his decision to drink kava shows that every tradition has its own history and risks. An unexpected lesson for the royals, and for us all. In a world where leaders are expected to connect with cultures, this incident is a wake-up call. How many of us try new traditions without thinking about their impact? Charles S. Carver experience is a lesson for anyone who's ever tried something new. This story teaches us about the importance of being curious and open, but also cautious. It shows the value of respecting other cultures while knowing our limits. A powerful call to action. King Charles S. Carver experience makes us think about our own willingness to try new things. Are we brave enough to dive into new cultures, learning and growing while staying safe? This is a question for everyone, not just royals. For royals, there's always a choice, to observe or to engage. Charles chose to engage, showing his dedication to cultural respect and connection. 
Let his story inspire you to be curious, empathetic, and cautious in new experiences. So, would you have tried that carver with Charles, embracing the risk? Or would you have stayed cautious, respecting the culture but keeping safe? Share your thoughts, and let's keep talking about the delicate balance of tradition, curiosity, and human connection.